Welcome back to Hashtag Woke on I Am Youth Movement's YouTube page. My name is Shol Toy, and this is the show that was previously called Lights, Mics and Studios. But however, we changed it a bit and now we're checking out stuff that's happening in the world, seeing how Christians should relate to it. And uh, very, very interesting times indeed that we are living in. And I think you can imagine that we are not talking about COVID-19 or anything like that. Uh, but we actually are talking about something that is very, very interesting and that's happening in the world and it actually took the world sort of by surprise. And that is the privacy changes on WhatsApp. Everyone saw that WhatsApp's changing their privacies uh, or their privacy notifications and the likes. Uh, and then people decided to venture away from WhatsApp and saying that they're going to share all your data and nothing will remain encrypted and nothing will remain secure. And, uh, and I, to a certain degree, I can understand that because I know Mr. Zuckerberg, uh, who owns WhatsApp, obviously is not that reliable. He has been selling data on uh, your Facebook profile accounts and stuff. He has been selling that data to various companies. But whatever that may be, we now then stopped using WhatsApp when you started using either Telegram or we start using Signal because we are so afraid of data being stolen and they're going to monitor your data and monitor your um what's it called your your messaging and everything somebody's going to read it and they're going to see that and i need to put something out there due to the poppy legislation that's running currently in the united states they're actually not allowed to read your messages uh, they can check your data. In other words, check your location permissions, check where you are and access those type of things. But they cannot check the messages. That is encrypted and will remain encrypted between two individuals making use of WhatsApp. So I need to put that out there. However, if you still don't feel safe using WhatsApp, there's something else that I need to point out to you. We as Christians should have a specific way of communicating with one another and if we communicate to one another and live our lives the way that i think we should live our life in this process of becoming more like christ if we understand second corinthians 15 correctly in this process that we are living and walking as christ did we see in second john 2 that it says whoever claims to live in jesus must walk like jesus walked if we live this lifestyle that worthy of the title Christian, it would mean that the communications and the data and the things that we share on WhatsApp is fine. You should not be bothered by it. I firmly believe that. You should not be bothered by it because your life should be an open book. People should be able to see you and see the messages that you sent on WhatsApp and be fine with it and see everything that they expect to see on that. Because you should not live a life that's hiding away in the darkness. If we read Philippians 4 verse 8, Paul is actually talking to the Philippian church and how they should live their life. And he goes on saying the things that we, we should think about. And he say, think about whatever is pure and holy. And I think that is the way that our conversations also should be. Paul also, Paul also mentions your conversation should be seasoned with salt. What does that mean? Salt was used as a preservation method in the New Testament times. Our conversations should be such of the likes that when you talk to someone, you're going to preserve their life. Life obviously means gospel and Jesus and God and death is sin. So to preserve life means you should be God-honoring, Jesus-worshipping, Holy Spirit-infused discussions. And if you have these type of this discussions, not slander, not gossip, not whatever your political motivation is on WhatsApp, then they are more than welcome to take your data and share your data because you're not sharing things that is strange. That is my personal opinion. And I think that is the way that Christians should react to the WhatsApp privacy changes. From myself, Charlotte Toy, have a blessed week. Looking forward to spending a couple of minutes again with you next week.